Good evening. The Food and Health Bureau and Baptist University start the preparation work for commissioning the Chinese Medicine Hospital, CMH, aiming to commence service in phases from the second quarter of 2025. What kind of patients will be, um, could be treated in the Chinese Medicine Hospital using the integrated Western and uh, Chinese approach? Actually, actually, that's a lot. That's a lot. Uh, at least I would say, uh, for example, just uh, for example, uh, uh, chronic pain can be a uh, high demand disease category. Uh, no matter it's acute pain, okay, due to injury or uh, musculoskeletal problems, or whether it's chronic pain due to many, many other reasons, um, even at this moment, okay, um, a lot of patients uh, at seeking medical care are not able to completely relieve their symptoms, okay? Because all this pain, the origin, first may not be uh, may not be identified even through the Western medicine technique. First one, the second is that there's a multifactorial um, situations affecting the pain, even psychological. I believe that uh, the uh, Chinese medicine uh, practitioner experts they will formulate a very good. Uh, protocols and also uh, combi using combination of interventions, for example, uh, using Chinese medicines, uh, that's drugs, okay, acupunctures, and also maybe other uh, methodologies, okay, that will cater for the individual situations of individual patients. So that's one area I, I may I may explain to you that uh, the use of Chinese medicine diagnosis and interventions has been proven very effective in managing multifactorial chronic pain. That's the news update.